Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. We've got the UC Davis Aggies, 5-3 on the season, traveling to take on the San Diego Toreros in San Diego, California. They're a Ballard 88 overall quarterback as we take a look at the rosters for these schools. Boone Johnson, Dylan Tong, Luke Moss, uh, DJ Payne, another middle linebacker here, Rob Roy. They do run the 3-4 defense, and it's been pretty decent for them this season, having two speedy linebackers back there. And they've got Isaac Price, Rick Wall, and Robbie Ballard, Doug Lay, and the team is rounded out by Demetrius George at wide receiver. Out of the Aggies, Caleb Chubb, 88 overall defensive tackle, Andrew Jackson, 87 overall left end, Trey Henry III, Tyreek Taylor, Demarcus Webb, Lito Lozano, a lot of 80s for speeds on this team. And they got Sam Gatlin, 76 speed. He's not very quick. Zachary Hyde, another 80 speed. This is an 80 overall linebacker. Elijah Christian will be suspended for this game, apparently. So we get to see here in a second what he did wrong. And then Owen Black, 78 overall, 80 speed. They don't have a lot of top level speed on this team, but they are pretty consistent. They do have Jaquan Brown, who hasn't been a huge factor, and actually Elijah Christian was suspended last week too, so we won't see why he was suspended, because that was in the last video. But let's get into this game, guys. Sunny San Diego, the stadium is not even half full right now. It doesn't help that the Toreros are not having the best season ever. And they will start it off with the kickoff in their powder blue jerseys looking sexy as ever Aggies back deep to return this will be a full broadcast folks we have another one tomorrow as well here is Lozano on the return up to the 23 yard line and the offense for the Aggies takes the field and they are led by Owen Black at quarterback Lito Lozano and Tyreek Taylor both at halfback and at wide receiver, we have Jaquan Brown and Sam Gatlin. And they're going to come out with five wide receivers to start this thing off. Owen Black under center. There's actually four wide receivers. I didn't see Lozano back there. He gets the carry for one yard. He came into this game with 900 yards rushing, nine touchdowns, and only three fumbles on the year. So not terrible, not great for fumbles. And looks like I formation. Tyreek Taylor's in at fullback. And they're going to hand it off to Lozano. Nice speed burst. Gets the first down and more up to the 39 yard line. First, first down of the game. Aggies off to a decent start, and they need it. Because in these subscriber versus subscriber games, they have not been that great. I formation again. And the crowd is pretty loud. They can't really hear. Trying to audible. And Black is hit as he tries to throw it. That pass will hit the grass for an incompletion. Black came into the game with 1,347 yards passing. Nine touchdowns. Twelve interceptions. But where he is most effective is on the ground. He came in with 726 yards. And 13 touchdowns on the ground. So elite numbers running the football for a quarterback. But he does have four fumbles as well. And here's Lozano. He's going to fumble the football. It's recovered by Tyreek Taylor, though. That is Lozano's fourth fumble on the season. And that was a big hit. So almost a costly turnover to start things off. Instead, it is third and two. And if I was playing with the Aggies right now, I'd be giving this to Tyreek Taylor right up the gut. And there is a flag. Encroachment on the defense. That'll be an automatic first down since it was third and two. So the Aggies catch a break. And the defense for the Toreros will stay on the field. And the Toreros defense looks like this. At defensive tackle, they've got DJ Payne. Defensive end, they've got Boone Johnson. Middle linebacker, they have Luke Moss and Rob Roy. At corner, they have Isaac Price. And at safety, they have Dylan Tong. And here's a nice tackle for a loss. That is Luke Moss, one of the middle linebackers. That's his 26th tackle of the season. He also has seven for a loss, one sack, three interceptions, 
Nine pass deflections and two forced fumbles. He's been doing everything for this squad so far. The Aggies continue to come out in I formation. They are going to go play action. Black throws left side. Lozano's going to lose a couple yards here. That was not a good throw. And that was Rob Roy on the tackle. That's his 25th on the season. He also has four for a loss now. One sack, four deflections, and two forced fumbles. You will also see Rob Roy play some tight end in this game. The Toreros starting tight end was injured. And Rob Roy will be stepping in to replace him. And a quick pass, Lozano left side, almost, or Black almost picked off. Not a very good throw, that'll bring up fourth down and 16 to go. They're gonna pump this football away. And back to return is gonna be Doug Lay, the wide receiver. And that is a high punt. Way downfield, inside the 20 at the 19 yard line, Doug Lay calls for the fair catch. And we get to see the Toreros offense for the first time, and it looks like this. Daryl Ballard at quarterback, Robbie Ballard at halfback, Doug Lay and Demetrius George at wide receiver, and Brick Wall is our subscriber left tackle. Ballard going to come out throwing it right side, and that is caught by Rob Roy, the middle linebacker slash tight end, his first catch of the game. And that will bring up second and four. I love the cowbell sound in the stands. Ballard under center. Rob Roy out at tight end again. And they're going to hand it off to the non-subscriber fullback, and that goes nowhere. Zachary Hyde on the tackle. And that will be Hyde's 36th tackle on the season. He also has nine for a loss. One sack, one interception, one deflection, and a forced fumble. He actually has ten for a loss now. They counted that as a loss of one. Ballard going to throw it. Pressure throws off his back foot, and he connects to the non-subscriber slot receiver for the first down. The Aggies' defense looks like this. At defensive tackle, they've got Caleb Chubb. Defensive end, they've got Andrew Jackson and Demarcus Webb. Linebacker, they've got Elijah Christian, who is suspended. And Zachary Hyde is another pass up top, and that is Demetrius George on the reception for a four-yard pickup. That is his 23rd catch on the year. And to round out the defense for the Aggies, they've got Trey Henry III out there playing strong safety. He's had a great season as well. Second and six, Ballard in the shotgun by himself. And another quick pass. That's almost picked off by the cornerback. They wanted Demetrius George again. They just could not find him in time. That'll bring up third and six. I formation, and Ballard's going to keep it, pitches it late, and that is Robbie Ballard, he's going to pick up the first down, and that will extend the drive a little bit as they get to the 48-yard line of San Diego. Two tight end formation, Robbie Ballard in the backfield. And they're going to hand it off to him, and he goes nowhere. That was Caleb Chubb on the tackle for a loss. And that is going to be Chubb's 16th tackle for a loss this year. He also has 24 tackles, 4 sacks, and a forced fumble on the year. He has been a dominating force in the middle of that line. Second and 11, another two tight end formation. It's kind of interesting because the Toreros only have one tight end on the roster that's worth anything, and he was injured. That's another tackle for a loss. It was Tyreek Taylor coming through, making a tackle. He does play some linebacker, as well as Lito Lozano. But not every play, because they would be exhausted on offense. Daryl Baller going to throw it. And right over the middle, connects to the non-subscriber receiver. He fumbles the football, though. That is recovered by the Toreros. And another great throw from Daryl Ballard, who has struggled this season. He's only got 11 touchdowns and 17 interceptions on the year. So a nice completion from him. I formation, two tight end set again. Play action. Daryl going to throw it short and connects. And that's a five or six yard pickup for the fullback. So the Aggies, they've really struggled in a, quite a few games this season. 
and most of their struggles have been with Owen Black. When he is on point, they're going to win every game. If he's not on point, they struggle, they can't score, and the other team is going to dominate them. And there's another catch for Doug Lay on the year. He's got over 450 yards receiving with four scores. And the other receiver, Demetrius George, he also has over 450 yards receiving with four scores. So very evenly matched receivers, and here is a tight end screen. That goes nowhere. That's Lito Lozano on the tackle for a loss. Now, last week, we saw the Toreros shut out the Southern Utah Thunderbirds in Cedar City, Utah, in a very dominating game. And they're going to get some points here, I think, as Rob Roy gets up to the five-yard line. This drive has been fantastic, very methodical, and it has taken away most of the first quarter. And that might be the last play of the quarter. Daryl Ballard, 7 of 8, 75 yards so far as they come out in the I formation. They will snap the football. Daryl to the end zone, deflected away by Lito Lozano. And they're going to have to settle for a field goal now. That is the end of the first quarter, though, as we're all tied up, 0 to 0. Terrero sending on the field goal unit. This will be a 21 yard field goal attempt. And the kick is up. And it is good. Terreros takes the lead here in the second after a 14-play, 52-yard drive. See if the Aggies can't come out and get some sort of big play. Got to try to take a deep shot downfield to Jaquan Brown. He's only got 11 catches on the year. They got to try to get him involved a little bit. Arrows set to kick it off. And that is going to be all the way to the end zone. And Juwan Brown on the return. He doesn't really get too far, maybe to the 21-yard line. And he has not been a big factor this season at all. Sam Gatlin leads the team in receiving. 21 catches, 522 yards with two scores. Juwan Brown does lead the team in touchdown receptions with four, but only 11 catches for 219. That's, that's really not a big factor. Just intent play action. Black going to throw it. He's hit as he throws just about. And that pass goes way out of bounds. Intended for Sam Gatlin. Not a good throw from Owen Black. Still looking for his 10th touchdown pass of the year. He has four more rushing touchdowns than passing touchdowns on the season. And a nice completion to Tyreek Taylor. The halfback. That'll bring up third and four. Aggies cannot afford to go three and out. Come out with split backs. And they're going to throw it. Lozano's got it and the first down up past the 40-yard line of the 41. Lozano has not been a big factor receiving any balls this season. Now they will come out in the I formation here on first and 10. And they're going to hand it to Lozano. Tries to get to the outside. He fumbles the football. It is recovered by the defense. And who was it? I believe that was Luke Moss on the recovery. Rob Roy has the forced fumble. Absolutely destroyed Lozano. That is Lozano's fifth fumble on the year. And I still did not see the number of the player that recovered the fumble. We'll check that out after the football game in the stats. It was either Luke Moss or Isaac Price. But either way, both of those players have fumble recoveries on the season. That was Rob Roy's third force fumble. Here's Robbie Ballard breaking a tackle. Picks up 12 yards and a first down. He's ninth in the country for rushing yards with 984. Closing in on a thousand, I expect him to get it this game. He also has 10 total touchdowns on the season. First and 10, Ballard under center. And he's gonna, oh it's a broken play and Caleb Chubb gets a big tackle for a loss. And that is gonna be Caleb Chubb's 17th tackle for a loss this year. 
Loss of seven. It looked like they were trying to set up a counter play and it took way too long to develop. And he never even got the handoff. So now second and long. Darrell's going to throw the football off his back foot and connects to the non-subscriber receiver, Espinoza, for a five-yard pickup. Better make it third and 12 for the Toreros. Head coach Dan Fouts trying to get his offense fired up. Get some, uh, get some points on that scoreboard. Third and 12, Ballard under center. Robbie Ballard in the backfield. They're going to throw it. And left side deflected away. Very dangerous throw. Wanted Doug Lay. And that was almost picked off. Now from the 32-yard line, their kicker does not have the leg for a field goal. So I'm going to expect them to either go for it or punt the football away here. And they will punt the football away. See if we can't get a precision punt. Coffin corner kick, perhaps. And that looks like it's just going to go right out of the back of the end zone. And he actually hits the upright on that. Donk. <laughs> that was awesome. Not often do you see that, especially on a punt. So that'll give the Aggies the football at their own 20-yard line to start off. With a chance to tie it up or take the lead. The crowd going wild. Tyreek Taylor can't hear his quarterback. And Lozano picks up a couple. Now tomorrow we have another subscriber versus subscriber game. This is a big one. Cal Poly 6-1 on the year takes on Northern Colorado in Greeley, Northern, in Greeley, Colorado. As Owen Black is picked off and that might go back all the way. Taken down inside the five yard line. That is Dylan Tong on the interception. And that is his fourth interception of the season and he scooped that up right before it hit the ground not a good throw at all he wanted Lozano and he wasn't even close but back to what I was saying tomorrow night Cal Poly in Greeley Colorado takes on the Bears and Northern Colorado looking to go four and five they can't really afford another loss on the year they want to get to the bowl season and here's Robbie Ballard gets to the outside and scores the touchdown and the Toreros now with a two-score lead over the Aggies of UC Davis. But I'm expecting a Cal Poly victory tomorrow over Northern Colorado. This is the first subscriber-subscriber game that involves the Cal Poly Mustangs. So it'll be interesting to see how Alexander Connor performs in that ball game. As we have an offsides penalty on the Aggies. But the Mustangs, they've been dominating everybody this season. They do have that one loss. And I can't remember who it was to. Maybe Murray State. But Northern Colorado, they've had a really rough schedule. They will be without fullback Gavin Brady for that game. He is suspended. But other than that, team should be at full strength. And that extra point is good for the Torero. So look forward to that game, guys. That will be another full broadcast. And I will be doing the commentary shortly after this video. So two full hours of commentary from yours truly. I will be tired after that. San Diego looking to dominate another Pac-10 opponent here in San Diego, California. They're up 10-0. Off to a great start already. Defense performing awesome. Robbie Ballard had a touchdown already. Jaquan Brown on the return and he's going to get dropped. Not a very good return. Maybe to the 22-yard line. Rob Roy on the tackle. He's got over 25 now on the season. Got quite a few subscriber players in this dynasty that have a lot of tackles. But nobody has more than Cy Summers from Bryant. On black hands off. Tyreek Taylor, he's dropped for a loss. That is Luke Moss again. Just all over the place. He has been an absolute beast this season. He doesn't have 100,000 tackles, but he's got almost 30 now. 
And he's got nine for a loss. A sack, three interceptions, nine pass deflections, two forced fumbles, and here's another tackle for a loss. Dylan Tong gets that one. And that is his sixth tackle for a loss. He also has 39 tackles on the season with four interceptions now, 10 pass deflections, and a forced fumble. And that is going to make it third and 13. Another long situation for the Aggies to try to convert. And they're trying to audible. They can't hear anything. Black hit as he throws way over the hands of Jaquan Brown. The Aggies are going to go three and out again. Unbelievable performance the past couple weeks for San Diego. And the Aggies do punt the football away. This is going towards the sideline and that is returned from the 45 yard line up to the other 45 yard line by Doug Lay. So a nice return sets up the Terreros in great field position to start off this drive with 2.33 to go here in the second quarter. Ballard under center. And they're going to go play action. Daryl over the middle, overthrows his target. I'm not sure which receiver he was throwing that to. There was two receivers in the area. That'll bring up second and ten. Ballard going to throw again. That's going to be a loss on a screen pass. I'm not sure why they would do that kind of play right there. They don't really have a lot of speed on offense. Well, that's going to make it third and 14 now. Terreros, three of five on third downs. Aggies, one of three so far to start this game. Ballard under center. He's going to toss it. And he's hit as he throws. That's intercepted. And who was it? That is going to be Zachary Hyde. That's his second pick on the season. And that was not very good. Quarterback was hit as he threw it. And just not... That was just an ugly play all around for the Toreros. Great for the Aggies, though. Already in good field position at their own 45-yard line. Trying to get some points on the board before the half is over. High formation. Black going to hand it off. Lozano tries to get to the outside, and he goes absolutely nowhere. Dylan Tong, another tackle at the line of scrimmage. Of course, I have been using Dylan Tong all season. He now has 40 tackles on the year, five for a loss, or six for a loss now. Four interceptions. Just a beast. Second and ten, eye formation again. Black going to hand it off, and they're going to have the same result here. Luke Moss, three tackles for a loss today. That gives him ten on the season and 29 tackles. I don't know why they keep doing the same plays over and over again. you got to try and throw the football downfield. Crowd getting into it, third and 13. Taylor and Lozano in the backfield. Black trying to throw it, and that was not even close to anybody. He about hit his head coach on the sideline with that one. And the Aggies are going to go three and out again. At this point, I feel sorry for any subscriber team that has to match up with San Diego. These games have just not been good for any of these teams. And they're punting the football away again. Deep downfield, Doug Lay from the 15-yard line. Nice return up past the 25. See if the Toreros won't keep handing the ball off to Robbie Ballard. He's been great for him this season. Got over a thousand rushing yards now. And they're gonna go play action instead. Daryl Ballard takes a shot downfield and it is caught by Espinoza. And Daryl Ballard now over 100 yards passing here in the first half. And just a perfect route. Not a defender in sight. Trey Henry the third finally gets in there for the tackle. Ball almost on the other side of the 50 yard line. Just over a minute remains here in the first half. Ballard are going to throw again. Pressure, deep shot, and he connects with Doug Lay for the reception. Oh, my goodness. Big time pickup. Great route. I know this drop frames. I, I'm sorry, guys. I do apologize. 
someday when I'm rich and have a lot of money, I'll, I'll have the best equipment possible, and this will never happen. But until then, you're just going to have to deal with it, as, as am I. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. They're going to throw it again. Brick wall with a huge pancake block to the end zone, and it is incomplete. He wanted Demetrius George. Just had a little bit too much air under that one. That'll bring up second and 10 with 59 seconds remaining. Aggies do call a timeout there. A little unsure why. High formation. Rob Roy in at tight end on the left side, and they're going to throw it. And that is picked off again. Who was it this time? That is Tyreek Taylor, his first career interception for the halfback. Not a good throw from Daryl. Wow. Actually, that was a good throw. It was right between two, uh, um, two of the receiver's hands. That is unreal. Just terrible luck for Daryl Ballard. This is not the way he wanted his freshman season to go. Hopefully next year his touchdown and interception ratio is a little bit better than it is now. Now that he has 19 interceptions. Owen Black going to throw it out right side and Tyreek Taylor drops the football. Owen Black 50% completion percentage as well as Daryl Ballard. So not the greatest quarterbacks this year. But the Aggies are most successful when Owen Black is able to run the football. And here we see Lozano only get two yards. So the ground game not working for the Aggies. And they're not really trying to throw it too much. When they have thrown it, they've been picked off. It's not a whole lot working. They got to figure something out. And they get the Lozano on third and eight. And he only picks up seven yards. So it's fourth and one. They're going to punt the football away. Again, the Aggies are going to go three and out. I believe that is the fourth time, third or fourth time in this half. And that's exactly what the Toreros did to Southern Utah last week. Back deep to return is Doug Lay once again from his 30-yard line. And breaks a couple tackles. He almost broke that for a score. Gets it up to the 41-yard line. And let's see if the Toreros come out and try to get downfield a little bit here. Maybe get in field goal range. Four wide receivers set for the Toreros. Ballard under center. Robbie Ballard in the backfield. And they will throw it. And it's picked off again. And this is Andrew Jackson. The defensive end on the interception. And that's going to be his first of his career. That is unbelievable. They drop him back. Picks it off. Looking like Julius Peppers out there. What a great play. Jackson, of course, in consideration for the Buck Buchanan Award this year. He's had a fantastic season. 29 tackles, 12 for loss, 7 sacks, and a forced fumble. And now he will add an interception to that. And the Aggies with a shot at some points here. 29 seconds remaining. Owen Black's going to throw it. And he is sacked immediately by Falk, the non-subscriber defensive tackle. That'll make a second and 17. That's going to drop them back out of field goal range. They have one timeout remaining. Lozano in the backfield. Black going to try to throw it. Quick pass inside the 30-yard line of the 29. And that'll make it 30 and 12. They're going to go no huddle here. They're trying to save that one timeout they have left. And they're going to throw it again. Black pressured and throws it way over his receiver's head again. That'll make it 4th and 12 from the 29-yard line. And I don't think they're in field goal range right now. The kicker just does not have the leg for this. If I was them, I would just go for it. And that is exactly what the Aggies are going to do here on 4th and 12. Down 10 nothing. Black set to throw it, and he's trying to take off. He will take off, but he is taken down about 4 yards shy of the first down. So the Aggies are going to get shut out here in the first half in San Diego, California against the Toreros. Another dominating performance on defense for San Diego. As they get Robbie Ballard up the middle here for four-yard pickup. And he does not have 1,000 yards. He's eight yards shy. I believe I said he had 1,000 earlier. 
But the Toreros, 3-4 on the season, looking to get back to 500. And looking to get two straight wins over subscriber teams. And they will start off the second half receiving the kickoff. Back deep to return, Demetrius George and Doug Lay, the receivers. And the second half is underway. On the return is Demetrius George, and he'll get taken down at the 20-yard line, so he might as well have just let it bounce in the end zone. Haven't really seen a whole lot of Demetrius George today on offense. Five turnovers in that first half. Only 51 yards of offense for UC Davis. And they're going to go play action here. First play, and that is another nice throw out to Rob Roy at the 45-yard line. Decision pass from Daryl Ballard and a great catch for the middle linebacker. Obviously having his best day at receiver. Or at tight end, rather. You know what I'm saying. First and ten. Two tight ends set. Eye formation. Play action. They've been running it all game. Wide open is the fullback, and he's going to get five yards. Little plays like that get that drive going. And that was actually a six-yard pickup. Can we expect a San Diego touchdown here to extend the lead to 17-0? That is Robbie Ballard. He's going to pick up the first down. That is the ninth first down of the game for San Diego. UC Davis only has two. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. Four wide receivers set, three to the bottom of the screen. And they're going to go counter here to Robbie Ballard right up the middle. He's got his 1,000 yards just running over defenders. That was Lito Lozano who got trucked. He got got, sucker. Sorry, the band is just getting me hyped right now. Another great run from Robbie Ballard. Over 1,000 yards rushing now. Nine touchdown runs, I believe and two receiving touchdowns on the season. Having a pretty good year. And they're going to give it off to him again, but he's only going to pick up one yard. San Diego has controlled all sides of the football today. Offense, defense, special teams. They've had some good returns off of some punts from Doug Lay. If they just got rid of their turnovers, they would probably be up by four scores right now. And they're going to keep handing to the Beast. Robbie Ballard right up the middle. Picks up about 15. That will give him 63 on the game. On 10 carries for one score. And that was just way too easy. And he ran it right by Caleb Chubb and Andrew Jackson. Right up the middle. Let's not forget the Aggies have three subscriber defensive linemen. So they should be dominating up front. But they are not. And this pass is dropped by Rob Roy at the top of the screen. His first drop. I'm not sure why you guys are so upset in the stands. He's a middle linebacker. Cut him some slack. That'll bring up second and ten. On the 13-yard line. 408 remains in the third quarter. Ballard's gonna throw it again. This time he is sacked, though. Let's see who it was. That is a non-subscriber safety coming through basically unblocked. And that's going to make it third and 18. You're still in field goal range here. So if you're San Diego, I would probably just run the football with Robbie Ballard and try to get some a couple extra yards here. Don't take any unnecessary chances. And they're going to. They're going to throw the football. Daryl Ballard finds Espinoza for the reception inside the 10-yard line. But he is three yards shot. So they're probably going to send on the field goal unit anyway. And this will be a 23-yard field goal attempt from Webb. That'll be his longest of the game. And the kick is up. And it is good. So the Toreros on top. 13-0 now after a 10-play 74-yard drive. That took 2 minutes and 42 seconds off the clock. Now if you're UC Davis, 
you got to throw the football here. Your ground game has not been working for you at all. You can't hold on to the football. Lozano's got a couple fumbles. I mean, you, you need to try to toss the pigskin, folks. I know Owen Black has not been that great throwing the football this year. But you do have Jaquan Brown and Sam Gatlin out there at receiver. We have yet to see a toss out to Sam Gatlin in this entire game as Lito Lozano gets absolutely lit up, and that was Rob Roy on the tackle. He has been a beast today. Offense, defense, and special teams. Only 51 yards for UC Davis. San Diego up over 200 yards now. High formation. They're probably going to run the football again. No, they will throw it. See what Owen Black has, and he finds Tyreek Taylor. It's a five-yard pickup. That's a good start to the drive for UC Davis. It's exactly what they needed. That'll bring up second and six. Less than three minutes remain here in the third quarter. Four wide receivers set. Owen Black's going to roll out left side and connects with Sam Gatlin up at midfield. His first catch of the game. And that'll be his 22nd catch of the year. And that was a beautiful throw from Owen Black. Owen Black now up over 1,400 passing yards on the season. Still looking for his 10th touchdown, though. First and 10, they're going to come out. Four wide receivers set again. Lito Lozano in the backfield. And they're going to hand it off to him. And he goes absolutely nowhere. Only 32 yards rushing today for him on 12 carries. That was a one-yard pickup. That'll give him 932 for the season. I do not expect him to reach 1,000 in this game the way the Toreros defense has been playing. Two tight ends set. Lozano with the backfield again. And they're going to go toss play and Luke Moth. Now that was Isaac Price who came through and dropped him for a seven-yard loss. Insane. The Aggies can't do anything today. They've had maybe two good plays the entire game. Third and 16, high formation for the Aggies. And Black's going to try to take off again. A lot of speed and still taken down short of the first down. As Isaac Price comes through with another tackle. And I believe I got Isaac Price and Boom Johnson mixed up a little bit. Number 15 is Boom Johnson. He had the tackle for a loss on that big loss of seven on the toss play earlier on in the drive. That's going to bring up fourth and two. So another stop for the Toreros defense. Aggies punt the football away. And no fair catch. And that was not... That was Dylan Tong on the return for some reason. And he'll get it to the 15-yard line. See if the Toreros can score a touchdown here. Put this game away. And by the way, that was Boom Johnson's only fifth tackle on the season, by the way, on that loss of seven. And we got a roughing the passer penalty here as the Toreros come out throwing the football. Caleb Chubb hits Daryl uh, Ballard. A little bit late. That's going to get him the ball all the way at the 30-yard line now. First and 10, I formation. And they're going to hand to Robbie. He is dropped for a big loss, though. That was Zachary Hyde cleaning up the missed tackle from Andrew Jackson. What a hit. My goodness. Not too often do you see Robbie Ballard get crushed like that. That'll make it 2nd and 12 for San Diego. Single back formation, two tight ends again. Or no, one tight end. Uh, Demetrius George in motion to the top of your screen. And they're going to go to Ballard, and he's dropped for a loss again. This time it's Caleb Chubb. So he's 4th in the back 10 for sacks with 4. I believe Andrew Jackson leads the Pac-10 with his seven sacks on the season. Now third and 13 for San Diego. Are they going to keep it on the ground here, or are they going to try to get that first down? And they will throw it. And Robbie Ballard wide open, but he is well short of the first down. And that is going to be the final play 
of the third quarter. So the San Diego Toreros will take a 13-0 lead into the fourth quarter. Another dominant performance from San Diego. But the Aggies are still not out of this game, guys. They're only down 13. Just two touchdowns, and they're leading by one. That's all it takes. But they got to get something going in the passing attack on offense because they have really only done maybe one good play throwing it, and they had a nice run from Lito Lozano earlier. A couple nice scrambles from Owen Black, but not enough to actually get first downs. And here's Jaquan Brown taken out of bounds. Looked like it was going to be a nice return until he bounced off of his own blocker. So first and 10 from their own 33-yard line. You got to come out slinging it. Four wide receivers set for the Aggies. Owen Black trying to hot route a receiver. And he will throw it. Quick pass, left side, caught by Sam Gatlin, his second catch of the game. That'll give him 23 on the season. As you can see, only 98 yards of offense today. Aggies averaging over 500 per game. That just goes to show you how dominant the San Diego defense is. Second and three after a seven-yard pickup from Gatlin. And Black's going to hand it off to Lozano, who bounces it out left side. Still going up past midfield. That was a great cutback from Lito. And the Aggies, only 49 yards on the ground today. Their season average is 253. Again, San Diego defense, man. You just you got to applaud them for how well they've played in the past two games against subscriber teams. Only 109 yards of offense today for the Aggies. 217 for San Diego. Now, both of these teams are really built for defense as well, so it's not really surprising that it's a low-scoring affair. Both teams have majority defensive players. These are two of, I think, three or four teams in our dynasty that have more defensive players than offensive players. Second and four after a nice run from Lozano. They're going to go play action. Rob Roy comes through unblocked and absolutely smothers Owen Black for the sack. Rob Roy doing it all today. That's his second sack on the year. That'll bring up third and eight as we hit the 430 mark remaining in the game. Split back formation. One tight end for the Aggies. Black going to throw it. Throws off his back foot, and he finds Sam Gatlin inside the 10-yard line. That was a great throw and catch. What a route as well. That was a stop and go. Perfect play as he beats Isaac Price in coverage. Gatlin now over 550 yards receiving on the season on 24 catches. That'll make it first and goal from the seven, guys. The Aggies are not out of this game yet. 597 yards receiving this season for Sam Gatlin. First and goal now. Four minutes remain. Black under center. Split back formation again. Black going to throw it. And he's going to take off right up the middle. Untouched for the score. That is his 14th rushing touchdown this season. And he brings his team back into this game as they're now only down one score. Fantastic drive from the Aggies. This is what they've been missing all game. You got to find your receivers open downfield. And Owen Black, you got to get running the football. And they did all of that on that drive. What we haven't really seen is Jaquan Brown today. We've seen him on a punt return. Maybe one reception for about five yards, and that was it. And he's the fastest player on this Aggies team. He's faster than anybody on San Diego. you got to try to get him open downfield. Or maybe get him a quick pass where he can try to make some people miss and just make a nice play for your team. But he has been really underutilized this season, even when I'm using the team, so I will admit that for sure. But honestly, he hasn't really been able to get open that much this season. So the Aggies kick it off. Not a very good kick to the seven yard line. Doug Lay on the return and gets it up to the 29 yard line. Right. 
So will the Toreros be content with the lead here to try to run the football, or will they try to take some shots downfield? And they will throw it. Ballard, deep shot, and he finds Doug Lay for the reception, and they're going to tack on 15 yards for a face mask. So that is the best possible outcome for the start of that drive for the Toreros. And worst case scenario for the Aggies. Head coach is livid on the sideline. I don't think I have ever seen him that upset before. Head coach for the Aggies is, of course, Ken O'Brien, the former quarterback of the Aggies and former New York Jets quarterback. Two-yard carry for Ballard. It's going to be second and eight now. High formation, two tight ends set for the Toreros from the Aggie 29-yard line. Taking as much time off the clock as they can. They're going to hand it off to Ballard again. He is stuffed again, this time by Caleb Chubb, who has been the bright spot for that defensive line today. Of course, Andrew Jackson did have an interception, but other than that, he hasn't really done a whole lot when it comes to tackles or sacks. Third and eight. Caleb Chubb is on fire right now. Robbie Ballard in the backfield. I'm expecting a throw here, and it will be. Daryl Ballard's going to toss it. Left side deflected away. Very dangerous throw. Now, what will be interesting here is if San Diego's going to go for it. They're out of field goal range. Kicker does not have a strong leg. The Aggies need this stop, and the Toreros are going to go for it, folks. This could finish the game off. If they get it, they could run the clock out. Daryl Ballard going to throw it to the end zone, and that's intercepted. Who has it? That is a non-subscriber safety with the interception, and that is the fourth turnover of the game for San Diego, and that is huge. You see Davis with a shot at winning this football game right now. All they need is a touchdown. Now, will they give them? They have the ball at the two-yard line. They have to go 98 yards for the win. Will Owen Black come through and be great for his team? Or will they blow this opportunity? Black taking a deep shot downfield. Is that a catch for Sam Gatlin? No, it isn't. They did not say he had a foot down. Oh my goodness, that would have been an, that would have been a huge play for UC Davis. Man. I wish I could see that play in slow motion to see if he actually did get a foot down. But what a great effort for Sam Gatlin. Black going to throw it again. Another deep shot. And it's a fumble. Jaquan Brown fumbles the football. It's recovered by San Diego. And another huge turnover. They finally find their speedy receiver, and he turns the ball over. Toreros are pumped right now. 2-10 to, to go in this game. They're up 13-7. And a huge force fumble. My goodness. You finally get some big plays downfield and you just, just fumble the football right back to him. You just can't have that happen. But the Toreros, not in field goal range yet. They got to get to maybe the 18-yard line for that. High formation, two tight ends set again for the Toreros. Going to pound the rock here, try to run this clock out. And they're going to give it off to the non-subscriber fullback. He goes absolutely nowhere. Caleb Chubb with his eighth tackle of the game. He has five for a loss. That's crazy. That's going to give him 31 tackles on the season. 20 for a loss. To go along with four sacks and a forced fumble. Torero is going to come out in the same formation. Running that clock out. Second and ten. Aggies need a stop. They're going to hand to Ballard, and he goes nowhere again. He kind of bounced to the left side and got no gain. That'll bring up third and ten. A 
And they're going to come out in shotgun formation. Five wide receiver set. Quick snap. Ballard to the end zone. It's brought down by Doug Lay for the touchdown. And the Aggies now extend their lead to two scores. What a huge play for San Diego. And Andrew Jackson got to Ballard just as he threw it. What a throw from Daryl Ballard. And that's going to give his team the win most likely. What a clutch play for the freshman quarterback. They're going to go for two points here to make it a 21-7 lead. Coming out in the goal line formation. They're going to move the fullback in motion right side. And they're going to throw the football wide open as Rob Roy for the two-point conversion. So it is now 21-7. UC Davis, they're a long shot to come back in it now. Well, let's see if they still have some fight in them. See if they can't get some more points on the board. So the Toreros in the past two subscriber games have only allowed seven points total. Absolutely fantastic numbers for the defense. Jaguan Brown's going to kneel this one in the end zone. And the Aggies come out at their own 20-yard line to start off this drive. Hope you guys noticed the uh, sound quality is a lot better than the last subscriber game. As this pass is almost picked off, intended for Sam Gatlin. Oh my goodness. Owen Black just taking a lot of unnecessary risks right now. Rob Roy, player of the game for the Toreros. Eight tackles, two for loss, sack, force, fumble. The Aggies, I mean, they didn't really have a player of the game, honestly. I might give it to Owen Black just for his running ability. Luke Moss, the seventh tackle of the game now. That's going to give him 32 on the season. And that's going to bring up third and 11 as the time is stopped by the Aggies. No, it is not. They did not call a timeout. So the clock's still ticking. Getting closer to that one-minute mark. Crowd getting into it. Third and 11. Black going to throw it. And oh, he's going to take off instead. Rob Roy with another tackle, his ninth of the game. And Black has taken down three yards shy of the first down. They will call a timeout with 59 ticks left on the clock. Obviously, they got to go for it here. Playing for pride now. Both teams are 0 for 1 today on fourth down conversion attempts. Goal line formation, they're going to handle Lozano, and he does not get it. He gets dropped for a loss. That is Boom Johnson, who's having a career day. He came into this game with four tackles, two tackles for a loss, one sack, a pass deflection, and a fumble recovery. So he has not been a huge impact for the Toreros, but he made his presence felt today. Toreros back on offense. This game is over, folks. And they're going to keep pounding the rock. Robbie Ballard, right side, gets a first down. A nice 11-yard carry. He's averaging 4.5 yards per carry today on 16 attempts. Aggies call their final timeout. So the Toreros can now run this clock all the way out. And they're going to come out in victory formation. So a huge win for the San Diego Toreros. They're now 4-4 four and four on the season. The Aggies drop another loss. Their offense just continues to struggle this season. They are now 5-4 and four on the year. The Pac-10 is up for grabs. Anybody can win it right now, except for maybe Northern Colorado. They would need a monumental upset against Cal Poly to get back into the race. So stay tuned tomorrow for that one, guys. That's going to be a massive game. I'm expecting a blowout from the Mustangs. Alexander Connor is just too much of a beast. Third and 14. They don't have to snap the ball. This game is over, folks. San Diego walks out of here with another win. 4-4 four four on the year now. UC Davis drops to 5-4. And, and the Toreros continue to dominate against their subscriber opponents in the Pac-10. But again, week, seven, uh, week 10, game 7, Cal Poly will travel to Greeley, Colorado to take on the 3-5 Northern Colorado Bears. Cal Poly is 6-1, and one, 
looking to take complete control of the Pac-10 Conference. But what are your guys' thoughts on San Diego's dominance in the past two games? I think they've been fantastic. Of course, they have played some teams that have really struggled on offense from time to time this season. So it'll be interesting to see when San Diego plays a team that has not struggled on offense this year, if they can continue that success. Owen Black, 9 of 19, 126 yards today, zero touchdowns, one interception. That'll give him 13 picks on the year. Sacked three times as well. Lozano only 40 yards today. Owen Black had the touchdown run. That gives him 14 touchdown runs this season. Tyreek Taylor only one carry, negative two yards today. Had a broken tackle, though. Ten broken tackles today for Lozano, two fumbles. That gives him five fumbles this season. Sam Gallon, 75 yards today on three catches. Juan Brown, 26 yards on one catch and a fumble. Tyreek Taylor also had a drop today. And on defense, Caleb Chubb, eight tackles, five for a loss. Trey Henry had five tackles. Zachary Hyde had five tackles, two for loss, and an interception. Juan Brown, three tackles. He plays some cornerback. So does Lozano from time to time. Actually, he plays linebacker. So two tackles, one for a loss for him. Sam Gallon had a tackle for Marcus Webb. Andrew Jackson both had a tackle. Andrew Jackson had an interception as well. And as did Tyreek Taylor. Both had their first career picks today. And Zachary Hyde had one as well. Some pass deflections today. One for Lozano. One for Juquan Brown. Fourth fumble for Trey Henry the third. That'll give him three on the season. One recovered by nobody. So it's recovered by San Diego. Five points for Golden today. Nothing special on special teams. At least for the Aggies. Daryl Ballard, 16 of 28, 235 yards, one touchdown, four interceptions. That's going to give him 21 picks on the season to go along with 12 touchdowns. So a rough, rough freshman season for him. But his team is back to 500, so they control their own destiny right now. Bobby Ballard, 73 yards rushing today. Gets over a thousand yards rushing for the season. He had eight broken tackles as well. Doug Lay, 98 yards on four catches. That'll give him um, over almost 550 yards receiving on the season. And he also had a touchdown, which he now has five on the year. Rob Roy with a drop. Brick Wall, 11 pancakes. He came into the game with only nine. That'll give him 20 pancakes on the year with three sacks allowed. Uh, Roy, nine tackles. Luke Moss with seven. Both the middle linebackers are balling out for San Diego. Dylan Tong had an interception. Luke Johnson, three tackles, two for a loss. He almost doubled his total on the season. He came into the game with four tackles, two for a loss. He now has seven and four for a loss. Three sacks, one for Rob Roy, one for Luke Moss. Both now have two sacks on the season. One interception for Dylan Tong. That gives him four for the year. Two pass deflections, one for Isaac Price. That'll give him nine for the season. Three forced fumbles today, one for DJ Payne. And that'll give him two on the year, one for Rob Roy. And that'll give him three on the season. And that is it for the stats for this game, guys. I hope you enjoyed this full broadcast, I know I did. Players of the game, Alvarez, Hyde, Black for the Aggies, Roy, Lay, and Ballard for the Terreros. UC Davis is ranked 39th. They're going to drop well below 50th now. Our next Aggies football game, they will be hosting the Eastern Washington Eagles in a Week 11 matchup. In our next San Diego Terrero game, they will be hosting the Portland State Vikings, who upset the Aggies earlier in the season in a Week 11 game as well. Our next game, which will be out tomorrow, I've been talking about it in this video, is Cal Poly traveling to take on the Northern Colorado Bears. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. Full broadcast. Take it easy, guys.